Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the Jada Waiter situation. So what's going on is that basically Jada Chivez, um, she's talking about how a lot of social media users are questioning her five-year-old son, Loyal Armani Jones, his sexuality. A lot of people, I guess, have been going around saying that he's gay or he acts gay. And so she went on to a podcast with Des Dior and they spoke about it. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a clip right here. I want you guys to go ahead and check it out. Just recently, the Wait a Minute campaign, I seen it was a lot of like riffraff on the internet. How did that make you feel? Um, honestly, the riffraff on the internet didn't move me. Period. Only because I knew my intentions. Her. And I'm reading this book, literally, and it's saying like, when your intentions are pure and your intentions are good, it's no need to clear nothing up. Yeah. Because I would be clearing myself for on the internet for people who already think what they think. Mm -hmm. I can't change their opinions about the video that I posted. Your perception is not my reality. And we honestly got the concept from an old movie in the 70s. And honestly, it's another movie, Parent Trap. It's also in that movie, too. Um, and it just was something fun. And what I hate, that they try to just make it weird. It's like they do that with everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like they talk about my son's sexuality. They talk about the videos saying I was promoting molestation. Like and then it's, it's just it's a little bit when people don't people don't even realize like speaking on the things they be saying publicly, it's like you're the real you're, creep. To even like look Ew, at something yeah, like that and, and just instantly think that way. To talk about a child's sexuality it's like weird. Yeah like a five year old. It's weird. A five year old it's so creepy. Like y'all need to self reflect. And yeah, do some healing. like it's probably like it's, like, it's honestly it, odd. It's kind of odd. It's scary, but yeah, it's literally to that point where I'm like, yeah, I just gotta pray for those type of people. Got to pray. Like I pray that they find it in their heart to like understand that this is a child, and like it's certain things that you, it's certain limits you just don't cross, or mm -hmm. certain things you just don't say. But like I said, I can't control people's perception, mm -hmm. or I can't make people say like, oh, loyal isn't this, or duh. right, like I can't do that. So yeah. I just. Fuck them. We both. I'm like, glad you don't let it affect you because, you know, people yeah. get sensitive about their Hell children nah. as you should. I but know it's who like, my child is. Period. His dad knows who he Her. is. Our fam, like, no, no one's question, worry, Enough bother. Said. Period. Enough said. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that clip. Now, I don't follow Jada Waita, Ari, like, to me, I'm not interested in their content. I don't follow family vlogs or whatever they got going on. But I do see them when they are posted on places like The Shade Room. Um, I do see them being posted with their sons and stuff like that. And um, there's a lot of nuances to this conversation. She's making it seem like people are just saying that he's gay and they're questioning his sexuality. But I don't think that's what that is because what I've noticed is that every year she comes out going off about the same topic. This is not the first time she's addressed her son's sexuality, which I don't understand why she's even addressing it because he's five. She did the same thing a year ago when he was four. She also did the same thing when he was three. It's like every year she's addressing these so-called trolls about her son's sexuality. Um, I believe it was B with the T. She had posted a video last year of Jada also addressing the same situation. So I'm going to go ahead and play that for you guys here really quick. Okay, you guys. So Jada is pissed off after fans came for her three-year-old son, Loyal. So she went live yesterday and people didn't like Loyal's mannerism. And they were basically insinuating that he was gay or his mannerism was too much like his mom's. Now, this is the live right here. Take a quick look. It's kind of like weak. It was a little weak. He, one of the tests. He, it didn't say me. <laughs> no, 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 no. So one of the tests, um, like the teacher said nothing but great things about him. But when it was time to test, he was in the green, which means he passed. But he didn't do super good. How I know, like he's super. Give me the filter back, first of all. You're, you're <laughs> No, first of all, 
Papa. <laughs> I'm gonna get my watermelon. All right, go get my watermelon. <laughs> Okay, so from that clip, this is what some people had to say. Jada Weddle on IG Live communicating with Loyal saying what is given and so shady and him repeating it while flicking his wrist isn't funny. It also shows she don't be around him enough to know how to separate talking to him versus her female and F friends. Little boy is doomed. I do agree with the comment that I saw. If you saw Lil Baby's documentary, he act just as sassy as Loyal does. But the fact that he's with Jada Waiter, her female family, friends, and her gay friends 24-7, he's definitely gonna have to real bad. I think Jada love it because she loves gay. Shaking my head at the video of Loyal and Jada, that's why I act like a man around my son. Fans have actually came for Loyal. Now Jada did respond and this is what she said. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to use that. My son is not around women all day. My son is with his dad very often. And if he's not with his dad, he's with my, my mom, his grandmother who has nothing but sons. He has a lot of men in his life. So please. Please. And like, you keep commenting at for what? Um, yeah. Grow out of what? Like, let's, like, he's fine. Okay? Okay. <laughs> like, kids don't be doing nothing but minding their business, happy, taken care of, hy hygiene on point, well-groomed, and here y'all go projecting saying weird evil things it's honestly sick and i pray you find the healing you need to not even look at a child and wonder about things like that it's actually a little scary anyways because y'all can talk about me all day And this is how people responded to that incident. I'm just gonna need Jada to stop posting loyal because grown ass people love calling a five year old gay. Like what the F, he stays with his mom. Duh, he's around a girl all day and know his voice not gonna be deep at age five. But I guess common sense ain't so common. I never understood how grown adults can come in on a child's that's not your sexuality. It's mind blowing for real. And personally, if I was Jada, I'd stop explaining myself and posting loyal in general. Good or bad, they gonna always have something to say. The way grown people talk about Lil Baby and Jada's son loyal is sick and twisted. Meanwhile, they struggling in real life to read and write past the third grade level cause they mama boy fabuloso on the stove all day. Now all right, so you guys just saw that clip. And um, like I said, I think the issue is not so much his sexuality because at five, no five-year-old should have a sexuality, in my personal opinion, gay, straight, or otherwise. The only thing a five-year-old child needs to focus on is, you know, their books and having fun, you know, living their best life rent-free, okay? Um, so I think that's all children at that age need to worry about. But I think what people are talking about but they don't know how to articulate it is his mannerisms some of the videos that i've seen posted online he does have a lot of his mother's mannerisms there was one video that went viral where i guess he had took a sip of lemonade and people were talking about how he said lemonade and how his hands were going and i think part of that is because he's around his mother a lot now she says that he's around his grandmother he's around other men but then you can find other videos of her where she's clearly saying that the son wants to be around her and really only around her. So let me go ahead and play you guys these clips. Water. Water. Okay, good job. Lemonade. Good job. As y'all seen, bro, the little dude was like lemonade, you know what I'm saying? And it was like a little freaky deaky, I ain't gonna lie. Now, for some reason, you know how Twitter is, bro. Uh, Twitter went up, you know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes went to sharing it, calling bro sassy, saying that he picking up on his women's um, traits and saying that, you know, he should start hanging around, 
his dad more and a lot of people on twitter you know twitter is the pro elemental p um community and also you know everybody on there think they woke I used to be having my um my little breaks. He go to Gigi house for like a week. I used to be just able to live my life. He wants to be with me every second, every day. He go to my mama's house. He call me like, mommy, come pick me up. Then I be feeling bad. So he just been with me. I can't even like have a little break. No more. Hey, Dyson. When? When I get breaks? Guys. If she breaks, only would I want to go to my gym. Exactly. And you don't be wanting to go over there no more. And last time you went, you went for a day and called me the next morning. Mommy, come get me. You don't give me breaks no more. I didn't know why. Why? Because you would be blah, 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 me. Hey, I don't get no more breaks. I just be with Loyal all day, every day. Stop, <laughs> start. All right, so you guys just watch both those clips. So, like I said, I think that's the issue is that he's picked up a lot of her mannerisms and people are seeing him being more feminine and saying that he's gay. That has nothing to do with his sexuality at all. And nobody should be coining him gay or straight at the age of five. Kids should be off limits and they should just be allowed to be kids. But I think when you compare him to Yoshan, which I always see people comparing them in the Shade Room comments, Yoshan has definitely more of a masculine energy. That's Ari's son. You see him, you know, going back and forth with Ari, the dad. You know, the dad is teaching him boxing moves and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and play y'all these clips. No, oh, bro, you can't see nothing, bro. What, dude? Let's fight. No, bro, stop touching me. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw the clips of Yoshan. So I think because a lot of young people follow Jada and Ari, and they see how their sons act totally different. You know, Loyal is more, you know, animated. Well, they're both kind of animated kids, right, from what I've seen on, on different clips on social media. But Loyal does have more of his mother's mannerisms, just keeping it real. Whereas when you look at Yoshan, he has more masculine, quote unquote, mannerisms. And I also think because it depends on who the child is with more and also how that woman acts. Ari, to me, comes off as more masculine. And that's not a diss to Ari. I'm the same way. I'm more of a masculine female than I am. I'm not super overtly feminine. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boy mom. I've always hung with my brothers, male cousins. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I probably have more of a masculine energy. Um, with Jada, to me, she comes off very feminine. You know what I'm saying? So if he is around more feminine women all the time, he's going to pick up those mannerisms, you know, and vice versa. So I think that's what that is. But I think at the end of the day, this didn't even need to be addressed. Because like I said, it's not her first time addressing it. She's addressed it several times, so it obviously bothers her. And the only solution for that, to be honest, is to not put your child on the internet. Kids should be allowed to be kids. They shouldn't have to grow up in front of the internet. That's why I don't get down with family vlogs. I don't want to know what people are doing in their household with their children. That is your business. And a lot of this stuff ends up affecting kids as they get older. Now we're starting to see kids from these family vlogs speaking out and saying how it affected them being put on the internet at such a young age. If they have over 100K subscribers, there will be some sick guy or girl out there who puts weird comments there. I know because it happens to me all the time. My parents show me these messages, some of them, but most of the time I find them on my own and I have to sigh, screenshot them, report them, and turn off my phone. 
because I'm in too deep, there's no going back now, and I never consented to being online. I wouldn't have been able to anyway. I was two or three when I went viral for the first time, and now there's things I just can't do. This also goes for the Jadas and the Aries. They need to let their sons just be little kids. They don't have to show every waking moment of their lives because what that does is it gives grown adults and people who just want to be toxic and messy ammunition to pick their children apart when their kids shouldn't have to worry about any of this stuff. You know, and let's keep it real outside of, you know, being influencers and selling makeup and hair and stuff like that. They also use their kids for content. You know, so this is where she needs to decide, does she want to keep using her child as content or does she want to give herself peace and her child peace? I know there'll be people in the comments saying, well, she should be allowed to post her child. Yeah, of course. She can do whatever she wants. She's the parent. But you also don't control the internet. And that's the thing that people need to understand. You have no control of the internet. You have no control of people's opinions and what they're going to say. Some people can say some really hurtful things. And I think that maybe she needs to not put her son on the internet as much if people are going to keep picking him apart. From what I've seen, he seems like a very articulate, sweet young man. You know what I'm saying? But people need to understand that you know, you have some men who do act more feminine and they're not gay. They were just raised around a lot of women. Just like you have some women who are more masculine, you know what I'm saying, they're tomboys, but they're not lesbians. You know what I mean? They're raised more around their brothers and their dads and things like that. So people's demeanors and their attributes and the way that they act and they respond to things come on a spectrum that really has nothing to do with their sexuality. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember because I worked in IT, a lot of people thought I was a lesbian just because IT is a more male dominated field. And it's like, uh, no, I'm straight, but I get why people think that. So I just think that a lot of people try to put folks in boxes that they don't necessarily need to be in. And I think that kids don't need to be in a box, especially that young. And I think her even addressing the situation to me is unwarranted. Um, why keep feeding the trolls? Why keep adding fuel to the fire? You know, raise your child. Like I said, he seems like a very sweet child, very articulate. He's not bothering anybody. But understand that because he is around you a lot, he is picking up some of your feminine habits. And that's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. It's just what it is. And this happens all the time, but it seems like when it happens with little boys, it's more of an issue in society. For instance, if you guys remember the movie, um, Remember the Titans, that was one of my favorite movies. There was a little girl in there called Cheryl Yost. She was Coach Yost's daughter. And if you guys remember, she was more into football than even her daddy. You know what I'm saying? She went hard for the team. That's all she was into. Why? Because her dad was a single father and he was raising her. So all she knew was to be around, you know, guys, her father, the football players. You know what I'm saying? She would call the plays. But then in contrast, you had Denzel Washington's daughter, right? who was raised in a two-parent household. So she was able to have that feminine energy from her mother. And Denzel Washington's daughter was very feminine. She played with dolls, where Cheryl was like, what the hell is a doll? Give me a football. But you're still weak on the left side. We're not weak on the left side. We just gotta work hard on the left side, that's all. It's not the problem. What is the problem? I think it is, but it ain't. It's what, tell me what the problem Cheryl, don't you wanna play with Nikki? I hate playing with dolls. I'm not playing, I'm accessorizing. Yeah, hey, why don't you go accessorize? Don't you want to go accessorize with me? So again, I don't think people are necessarily wrong for pointing this out because it does happen, but it just seems like when it's a little boy and he's exhibiting more feminine traits, people tend to automatically look at his sexuality. Whereas if it's a little girl and she's more of a tomboy, then it's like, oh, she's a tomboy, she'll grow out of it next. You know, so I think that's the part that's unfortunate. At the end of the day, people need to allow kids to be kids. But as parents, it is your job to protect your children. And if people are constantly attacking your child like this, then you need to be a parent and protect them and possibly just take them off of the internet. And I don't think it's worth her son constantly being chastised by certain toxic people on the internet. So I leave the comments up to y'all. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this entire viral situation. Don't forget to hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.
If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.